this is Mirgloff, and this is Mirgloff Builds. And in this episode, I am going to be making uh, a bank in this spot right here. And uh, I have a new microphone. Uh, I hope its quality is just as good as uh, the previous videos, uh, if not better. Uh, although, I'd be surprised if it was better. Uh, these, the mic I'm using now is... Uh, about half as expensive as my original mics, but uh, I got tired of uh, the normal mic I use breaking all the time. I, in fact, uh, broke for the third time, but I usually, I have warranties for them, so I get them replaced, but I got sick of it, so I'm trying a new one. And Radio Shack actually only had cheaper ones, so they didn't have any better ones, so I'm thinking about getting, uh, I don't know, a couple brands I've heard is uh, Triton and Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach seems a little bit hyped up, but I've, I've gone on a tangent here. Um, what I'm going to be doing different in these videos is I'm not going to be doing a time lapse. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually step-by-step uh, -step, uh, showing you what I do as a time lapse, or not what I do normally do when I'm during the time lapse, or at least uh, do one step and then uh, do a wipe screen to me when I'm finished with it basically explaining what I'm about to do and then cut to me when I'm finished. Example, I'm gonna fill all of this uh, indentation here with uh, this smooth stone. So, and here we go. I have finished. So that's basically how it'll go. I'll explain what I'm about to do and then stop recording, do it, and then start recording again and showing what I said I was gonna do. And the reason why I've uh, decided to do this is just to try a new way of uh, making these videos, so I would really appreciate it if you guys left a comment or informed me somehow whether or not this is better than how I have been doing it. How I've been doing it previously is I would have a time lapse and some uh, uh, free to use music that I found somewhere on the internet. And uh, I forget where, I use a lot of uh, Kevin McLeod. He puts that stuff out for free, but, uh, so yeah, I would like to know if uh, this is better than before, and I won't normally be having a long rant about what how I'm filming, but, so the next step is uh, putting the cornerstones, which I think I just want a simple cobblestone, like that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on camera, and uh, what these, the ch what it means for, uh, how these videos are made is uh, I have to be talking a lot more and normally I like to do the time lapses because I can't always have relevant commentary the entire way through so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me but I will try and let's see what I want to do is I want to have uh, as you can see those corner pieces there the uh, smooth stone brick I want to have walls uh, in between these uh, cobblestone pillars, I might have one of these. Hold okay, on, we'll be right sorry back. about that. And where was the little piece? It was probably right here. So where was I? Um, I'll have th these walls in between these uh, cobblestone pillars be the uh, smooth stone brick. Uh, I gotta go get. I gotta go make those bricks, but uh, I'll go ahead and I might put something cobble over here. But I will. Uh, get those bricks okay, off camera. and uh, this is what I was talking about. Okay, uh, and eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, uh, the smooth stone, the stone half blocks, uh, probably right here and here. Uh, I don't know how to describe it really. Uh, when I finish that you'll understand uh, what I'm trying to make. It's sort of like uh, pillars. It's a uh, wouldn't call it a facade, but I've seen it on the uh, BGSF server uh, in the uh, spawn building, the uh, College of Ashar or whatever. Uh, and I like the look of that, so I'm going to kind of copy the design idea from that. But uh, I like the way it looks. And what I need to do now is just uh, make these walls a little higher. I probably won't have enough of the stone bricks. But oh well. And uh, the main reason why I decided to switch up the uh, style in which I 
uh, record these videos is because of the amount of time that it takes. I don't mean like recording time or how much time it takes for me to record, but I mean how much time it take makes me. <coughs> that was a complicated sentence. How much time it takes for me to build up these cities, and it's been about over a month, and I'm not as far along as I thought I would be and want to be. So I'm trying to think of a way I can speed it up, where I'm get more done in one episode, and do some more stuff off camera like which I've built a house over there which I have not recorded me building it and so what I was thinking was every episode or uh, not every episode but uh, the majority of the episodes be of me working on a larger project sort of like this bank here which is going to be larger than most stuff I've done so far except for maybe the uh, town hall and uh, and have smaller stuff like individual houses be done off camera and then in between the uh, larger projects sh show those houses although uh, I will you know I haven't made up my mind completely so I I need feedback and let's see here so I'm basically building up this wall and eventually I will be like I said putting those uh, half stone stone blocks, the half blocks, and I've not really had any thoughts of how I want to do the interior. I'll probably, uh, I probably actually would, would like a basement to put chests and stuff in, but you see I'm already almost out. Uh, also I want to do some more wood stuff. Keep in line with the rest of the town. Uh, so I need to do some wood exterior stuff. I'm not sure what. I'll probably put some wood half blocks around the uh, edge there. And what do I need to do? I think I should work on the first floor. Uh, let's pace this out here. Uh, where do I want the bank tellers to be? think two from here. Alright, let's use dirt for the rest of this to just get a look for or, for how this was so I don't waste any of that uh any of this yeah you see I actually I changed my mind I want to make this wood so that's why I would use this dirt here. some wood and tear. In fact, I think maybe I should have done this floor in wood, but I'm not going to renege the stone floor. That's much too wasteful. I think I'll have like a door here or something. In fact, I need to get rid of this. So I will have a cobblestone or stone or stone bricks. I'm going to go with stone. Make a doorway here. It'll be an iron door for security. And put up a wood up this way. And I have two teller boxes here. Alright. And I'm doing this on camera because I can't really think of an adequate way to explain what I'm building here and then doing, you know, cutting out me actually building it. Uh, and I'll put some glass there. Yeah, this needs to be three. So I need to move this over. Which is unfortunate, it's a waste of stone. It's a waste of coal, actually, but build it right here. And tear this back down. All right. There we go. So that's all the teller stuff. And 
there will be a second floor, I guess, like offices. I'm not sure how bank-like I want to make this. Need some like desks over here for banky desk stuff. And where is that? Probably use some fences later on. Okay, and I think that's as much detail I want to put into this section of the interior. I'll put in the uh, iron door later. I'll put in some wood half blocks here. No, I won't. I don't like the way that is. Mm. Well, I think what I should do now is just uh, build up this wall some more until I get some more ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm probably going to sleep. But, okay, so I built the uh, walls up a little bit, and it occurs to me that there are no windows, but I've decided that no windows is okay. Uh, it will be... it'll give the bank the, a more look of security, I suppose. And uh, the windows would mess up what I'm trying to do with the exterior. And I've decided against building a second story. So I'm just going to start on the roof now. And the roof is going to be uh, just plain cobblestone. And there probably won't even be any... Uh, uh, what that is escapes my mind right now. I don't know too many of the uh, architectural terms. Very few, in fact. I tend to make up my own. But uh, what I'm going to do is just basically make this uh, roof out of cobblestone. And actually, probably no. I'll line it with this regular stone, and then the, in the inside, yeah, border of like regular stone, and then the inside, like right here, will be cobblestone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so. This roof is finished. I'm going to put some torches and some uh, iron bars, I think is what everyone calls them. I usually call them iron fences, I think. Mm, that lighting should be good enough, and I'm going to put the iron fencing along here. And I had something I wanted to say, but I think I've forgotten. I expected this to only take, uh, I thought this, uh, building this bank here was going to take, uh, two episodes, but I think I'll be able to finish this in one, with maybe a little bit of time spare to show the house that I have built off camera. I'm not sure, I probably shouldn't have said that, but, uh, I'm going to do a few of these videos in this style that I've done. Uh, and for this one, I didn't need quite so many of those iron bars, oh well. Uh, mostly because the way I uh, film these videos is I do them several of these, make several of these videos in one day and then upload them as like one at a time each day. Uh, I need a crafting bench. Because I have essentially a life and a full-time job, so I can't really spend the time every day to film and edit, so I usually do a bunch of them in one day for what I need in the week. At least that's the goal. I end up usually making one or two during the week. Anyways, let's make that... I think I need that. Alright. Mm. There we go. No problemo. And I'm not going to build a basement. I'm just going to put a couple of chests back here. I need to make this uh, small town of Mirgloff a fancy bank. Uh, how many? I think 
this will suffice for chests. Alright. Mm, oh, I was still able to get through. Mm, how should I arrange them? some walking. There's probably some mobs in a cave below. Let's see how this looks from over here. Looks good enough to me. A couple of minor details now. I need some signs. Uh, I'll just explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some uh, signs around this to make this look more like a table. I'm going to do something with this, probably something of fences. And Oh yeah, and then I'm going to do the exterior. Okay, so I added a couple of details, the signs and the fences. To be honest, I have no idea what this would be in a bank, but uh, it's detail, I guess. Uh, meaningless detail, but it looks different. It's something to look at when you come in instead of just emptiness. So it serves its purpose. I was hoping for something that looks like a desk, but it it's incredibly hard to make desks, or anything that looks like desks, in Minecraft. Uh, that workbench could probably... Use. I don't think I should... Actually, I know what I'll do. Uh, yeah. I will build another workbench. I don't really need to use a workbench to build a workbench, but I just did. There we go. That's better. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, oh, I will need to use these. Not sure how much of this stone slab I'll need, but hopefully that will be enough. So this is the last thing I'm going to do, and what I'm doing is... Uh, okay, that's problematic. Mm, okay, I know how I'll handle this. I'll get to them about that high and then I'll get on the roof and fill them up, but this is what it will look like. And, uh, but around the rest of the building. Okay, and the bank is finished with the exception of this bank of Mirgloff. There we go. And let's take a look at how it turned out. And it was a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be, so that's okay. We can still take a look at that house that I built. And uh, the next project, I'm either going to build some more farms, like chicken farms, do some breeding, I guess. Uh, or build a uh, library in this spot right here. Which may be difficult, because I need, uh, it'll be just wide enough to do the proper, uh, enchantment table setup. So I built another house down here. It's this one right here. And, oh, I did forget to do a couple of things. i just replace this here. course I'll need a sign. Okay. Always forget to put these signs up. Let's assume this was uh, B, right? Yeah, 2B, so this is 2A. Uh, oh crap, what street was that? 3rd Street? Yeah, 3rd Street. 3rd Street, 2A. Street to a town of Mirgloff. There we go. And I tried using some iron bars to do something over here. I didn't have enough uh, wall, exterior wall space for it to uh, look the way I wanted it to, but I decided to keep it. And this house is uh, more made out of stone than usual. Here's a little uh, table I made, workbench, 
sort of the kitchen area. And see, this is how I said earlier that it's difficult to make desks. This is my attempt at a desk. I was trying to do the staircase, the stair block with the two signs as a chair, but I couldn't get it to work, so it's more like an altar now. Chests. Uh, and a bed. So it's pretty bit pretty basic. Uh, as soon as I uh, get more uh, reeds going at that reed farm that I built over there, I'll start uh, adding bookcases as uh, decoration. That's so what I do next between like uh, get some animal breeding farms going or even some melon and pumpkin farms or building the library, it depends all upon uh, how fast I get these uh, sugar canes growing because I need those for bookcases for the library so I may very well be uh, doing a farm, building a farm next but if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please give me some feedback whether or not this fit whether on the quality of this video as opposed to the previous videos and thank you for watching. Thank you.